Hey everyone, this is Michael Smith with Picks and Sultry Studios, and today, today I will be showing you how to pose an elephant dwarf rabbit. Now, the rabbit I've got here is a ruby eyed white. I already discussed that in one of my previous videos, and his name is Lightning. And so, he's very easy to pose. Now, the, now the first thing you do is when you set him down on the table, you I, I always brush him off, make his fur nice and smooth. And I put my hand behind him, like just above the tail, right behind him. And I put my fingers right underneath his chin and lift up slightly. Now I also put my th thumb on his forehead to stable it some more. And I don't know, I, that's what just what I do. And see, that's that's what you do. And you want it not too high like this, or not too low, like if you'll do it, like this. You don't want you don't want it too low or too high. You just want it just enough so the chest poofs out, the chest, like the chest poofs out, and you cannot see see light shine underneath the legs. And he's he's very feisty. Um. So that's that's how I pose an Ellen dwarf. Now now a good characteristic of an Ellen dwarf is you for showing you want. You want a nice curved back. That's when judges judge a rabbit. That's what you. That's what they judge. The. I mean, that's the most points is the back. You want short, thick ears. His ears are kind of long, but they're pretty. They're pretty good size. They're. They're okay for thickness. You want a nice wide head, and he's got. He's got one, and you also want. You want nice stableness. If you. Hold on. He's not doing it right. You want nice stableness. You want the front paws to be nice, a good width apart, but not too far. And you want that. You want the eyes to be good proportion of the head and the teeth. Real quick, you want you want the top teeth. I don't know if you can see. You want the top teeth teeth above above the lower bottom teeth. If you don't, then that's a disqualification. And I'm showing you, um, and you want a ruby-eyed white fur to be nice, natural, a nice white color. Now, um, one trick I found out is make a mixture of cornstarch, water, and vinegar. And not, not, it's more water than vinegar, very little vinegar. And you just spray on their coat and rub it in. And it helps with their fur. And it helps keep their fur nice and good shape. Another thing I found that works is is actually for horses winning winning sheen. Now I, I, we don't have horses, sad to say, but I want. I wish you can get ones, but <clears throat> but what I do, I spray it on, and he does not like this. But I always spray it on and just go with the fur and rub it in. Now good, now good fur is. Let me rub it down. Good fur is when you rub it and it just like freezes in place it looks like a big poofy ball you want that you don't want it to when you rub your hand against the fur it just go poof, right back into place that's 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 not very good fur <clears throat> now back to posing when you pose them you want the the shoulders and the hips to be nice nice good width and you also want the the tip of the toe the back the back feet the tip of the back toes right in line with the hips and you want the, tip, the feet right in line with the eyes and so far I believe he's doing that and with ruby eye whites this isn't a problem but you also want all their colors to be the same I mean all their nails to be the same color if not that's also disqualification I'll be talking about that later and I know there's something else I always miss but I don't remember it this time um, let's see, you want, you want them on, yeah, you want them to be two and a half pounds or lower, so that two and a half pounds is, I mean, lower than two and a half is the best. Um, he, I'm not sure I haven't weighed him for a while, but he's under two and a half pounds. Now, um, you want, you want them to be of good meat, if I can say that with a clear conscience, I don't like saying that, it sounds wrong. <clears throat> you want good meat on the rabbit. You don't want like feeling bones through. 
she has an issue with that sometimes. And, um, anyway, so when you first put the rabbit down on the table, um, like I said, put your hand behind them, but before you do that, I always just put my hands on the side, or usually just for a couple seconds, and, and that, that just seems to help. I found that to work, usually, and especially when they're squirming. And so, I'll show you a couple tricks with a couple rabbits, real quick. This one's name is Guess. Now, he has a little issue with posing and his ears. Speaking of ears, you can see his are a little bit longer. I don't, I'm not, I don't like those ears, they're a little too long. But anyway, he has an issue with posing. As you see, I pose him, but as soon as I let go, he goes down. Now, back when I used to work with them every day, many times a day, they would stay. They would, he would do it. He'd stay in pose, kind of like that. But then he goes back down. If that happens, with one, if you're with your rabbit, then just keep keep working at it. It'll help. You know, and he'll eventually get get rid of that. Usually, I can't promise. I'm not like the rabbit professional. This. This, ooh, okay. This one's name is Feisty. He's a chocolate otter. He's very nice. And he, he's always had, he's o and he's over two and a half pounds. I got to cut down his food soon. We're going to a bunny show soon. Now, <clears throat> he has major issues of posing. Sometimes, he's not doing it now, but sometimes when I pose him, he was just lock in place. And... What that means, his back hind legs will will just pose normally, but his feet will not lower or go higher or anything. They just lock. And it annoys me so bad, like right now, as you can see, sort of, his back leg is doing it. Ooh, he also likes to bite. Um, anyway, now my blood's rushing. He, so he has an issue, I mean, I used to, I, I used to get the, get him to do it well but he's gotten kind of unused to it now if you, now also with the ears sometimes there will be ears like this like they're called scissored ears that's when one ear is over the other and they're kind of like crisscross now if you want to you want to avoid a rabbit like that because it's not completely perfect but but it doesn't happen all the time. I mean, sometimes you see it on him, sometimes you won't. And there's a, oh yes, if you're a beginner and you don't like, and you don't like posing like this. Now another thing that I have found to work, I'm, I'm gonna see if I can do it. You do it like this, and you. This is what my sisters do. They're newer at this, and but here. Turn around wherever way you want it and just like take a finger and try and pose them like this. It's, I'll try and do it wherever you can see. Like this. Now that I used to, I used to pose like that, but I've gotten more and more used to it, so now I'm like this. And if they bite, they bite. I've gotten bitten a couple times. It's not it's not as bad as what people think, usually. Okay, so if you want to do that, you'll eventually you'll eventually get used to it and and get better at posing, and you'll probably move to a nor the normal way like this. If you don't, then I advise you to try because that's how the judges pose, and you want at shows, and you want them to feel like when you, they're at shows, you want them to feel at home. Now, when you're on now when your rabbit's on the judging table. If a rabbit bites, it gets disqualified. So if you have a really mean rabbit, you might want to consider getting rid of him. And that's with rabbits biting. There's another thing. Uh, if you're at a show, don't like make public announcements that the rat, the, ju the judge, the rabbit, the judge is judging. That is yours. You can get disqualified for that. So another another thing to not. Um, it keeps slipping my mind. Anyway, let's move on. So that, so that's. But the more you work with it, as you can see now, he's starting to pose normally. 
Oh yes, now I remember. When you're at home and you're posing a rabbit, you might want to like get touch his face, get used, to, accustomed to it. Get hit, and I found out that if you touch his face, then they're more they're more susceptible susceptible to judges to pose them and cooperative. And that's that's kind of the basic of posing Nella and dwarfs. I know I probably have forgotten something. I usually do. That's kind of that's kind of, that's pretty much it. And I know it can get pretty hairy sometimes, especially if there's rab that bites. It can, it can get it can get pretty hairy now, but you, you eventually get used to it. Now in another video, I will be showing you how to do the how to pose. No. Yeah, another video I'll be showing you how to pose mini Rex. This guy right here. Pose mini Rex and see. And how to pose mini Rex and I'll be in another video I'll be talking about disqualifications and I will be talking about what what's it like at shows, at bunny shows. Because most people think that bunny shows when rabbits go there and you train a rabbit and they do special tricks, stuff like that. There's two kinds of shows. The one that I go to is posing shows, and as far as I know, it's two guys. There's the posing shows, which is normal, and there's another one, rabbit hopping contests. Now, I'll be, I'll be talking about that a little bit. I've never been to one. I've heard about it, but I've never been to it. So, so in another video, I'll be talking about that. And as of right now, that's that's it. And I hope. I hope that this made some sense for you. I know some uh, some stuff I say doesn't usually make sense. Now, thanks for watching Pixel Starch Studios. I like to if you um, subscribe, like, and comment, and thanks and I appreciate that. And so, thanks for watching Pixel Studios.